Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a, another video on the channel and this is a video I'm actually pretty proud of myself for making. Granted, I didn't do too much and there's still a little bit of a bug that I have to fix. But what you were looking at is a tool I made with ChatGPT, which this just is enough to prove that you don't need to know much and as long as you can problem solve and do a little bit of Google and understand the coding syntax at hand, you can use ChatGPT to basically write software where you would have no idea where to go. So if you looked at this, this is complete gibberish to you, me, anybody that looks like it. We cannot decrypt two fish uh, cryptography in our heads. It's not going to happen. So I made this tool using ChatGPT. And as you can see, it is 2.30 in the morning. And I started this around 11.30 because for some odd reason I thought that was smart. C-sharp decrypt function for two-fish encryption. And that's what I started with. And it didn't work. It didn't work for a very long time. Until somewhere about halfway through this. Maybe it was about here. And this is why I'm very happy I am a avid saver of something that works because I blocked out a bunch of code which you'll see right here so originally I had this section of code just blocked out like that because it worked and I didn't want to screw around with code that didn't work and I wanted to have something saved that worked but it only did about the first 16 bytes because it wasn't looping through the chunks. And it still actually has a bug with this that I need to figure out. I think using an int is too small. Uh, I might have to change it to, I don't know if I can, int, can I do like int 64? How do I do a 64 bit uh, integer? Uh, I don't remember now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on a second. Idiot moment. That would be a long. So long block size equals cipher get block size. And I'm going to see if that works. So we're also going to do, let's see, long um, chunks equals cipher text dot length slash block size and then we're actually going to do long long and we're going to see if this works because right now it stops around 20,000 bytes for some reason and I'm wondering if converting it to long is going to work. So I'll show you real quick that this tool works. We're going to get rid of the one that I decrypted. And we're going to decrypt it. So. <coughs> still stops at the same spot. So it's still stopping at around 20,000 bytes of a file. Uh, because it's matching the file size when it actually should get bigger. That's the only problem here. But it does work. So as you can see, this went to this. And we can actually see everything in here. It completely works, but it's only doing, you know, 20,000 bytes worth. So I got to figure out that bug, but that's for another time off camera. Um, also, I want to put out there that there is a public tool that somebody named Sandwicha, who is a really cool guy, uh, made. But the tool requires a license key that costs a lot of money that I can't afford, which is why I took on this endeavor. But as you can see, it makes it look like this. And one thing I want to show you guys is if I convert this back... So as you can see, now there is an encrypted one here. It looks exactly the same. 
So what happens if I modify something at the very top, let's say? Let's do something where we'll notice. That'll actually let's do weapons.txt because that'll be far easier to notice a difference. Um weapons.txt is script. Oh, that's gonna take a fat minute, isn't it? So it did do a good majority of it. But it is gonna stop when the file size matches. As you can see. So what I wanna find I just wanna do something at the top. Uh I'm gonna do something at the top because then we'll know that it changed. And we'll be able to see. So let's take this, put it here, and then what we're gonna do is we can see that this looks like this. We're gonna save this, open it, we're gonna encrypt it, and it's gonna take a fat minute. Oh, it didn't take long at all. And I want to know, so I can see the differences. And one thing that's really cool with Notepad++ is you can compare files. So if you want to view, um, oh, I forget where it is in here. Uh, da, 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 da. There is a way to compare files. Now I don't remember where it is. Let me find it real quick. What I decided and said is to use a hex editor because it almost is easier anyway. So this is the new encrypted file and we're gonna compare data. So it shows that right there, the original, this is the new one. Starting at 0 to 0, it is different. Now how long is it different? So 1594 Need to know how long it's different for. F6. How long is it different? Good couple lines. Actually a lot of it. I think everything below that, but it should stop at some point and be the same, I think. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm starting to think that's not going to be a thing. Everything below that is going to be different. And that maybe this is a header. Let's see, I'm going to scroll like way the fuck down here. Look at the bottom of the file. Oh yeah, it's even different down here. So it changes the whole file when you do that. I'm actually not surprised. I'm just tired and figuring this out now. But it changes the whole file. But it would work if we put it in the game and could get it to do the whole file. It's just the problem right now is it stops at random right here and I don't know why yet. So I gotta figure that out. But other than that, I mean, it works. I just got to figure out why it stops 20,000 files in. I'm wondering if it's something to do with also this being... Let's make this along as well. Just to be safe. Uh, oh, this can't be... Uh, it has to be an integer, but what happens if it gets too big? Well, we'll see. Let's try it. Just real quick. Stopped at the same point. The files get bigger is the problem, and it's going until the end of the file. And it matches. 
the file size. So I need it to keep going past that. That's the problem. So anyway, I'll figure that out later or work with somebody or ask ChatGPT, hey, the file gets bigger, can you let it keep going? But this is a step in the right direction. This is something I never thought I'd be able to do with Combat Arms because the one res file out of the entire game I've never messed with is attributes.res because we couldn't do it. But now that we know the keys, here we are. I can mess with it and try to learn. And ChatGPT wrote this whole entire software. Uh, I need to go to bed. I'll talk to you guys later. That was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Peace out.